hello and welcome it's Jilly Q I'm just um, finishing off a few uh, paintings that I've been doing over the last couple of weeks and I'm going to embellish them I'm going to resin this one um, beautiful bloom and I am just embellishing this pour with some of these just flowers around the very outside I probably didn't need embellishing it's got enough going on but it was just a test for me to see um, if it could work so I'll link this particular video to this one um, if you want to see the process because this has got these lovely lace um, lovely lace effects with just just monochrome lace effect now this glitter was a complete accident because I was um, putting some glitter on a painting beside beside me I was putting this black diamond Aura Flakes Cosmic Shimmer on a on a black um, piece that I'd done embellishing it and I sprinkled some of the glitter on it and my air conditioner was on and the air conditioner blew the glitter over the wet painting so of course I didn't dare touch it I tried to there look finger mark but so the glitter stuck to the painting so I thought oh well as Bob Bob Ross would say happy accident so I thought well I'm going to further embellish it so I have poured just a bit of this straight PBO PBO acrylic paint in onto this little dish uh, I've used I think somebody told me they're called pouncers or bouncers so they're for doing uh, stenciling so if you aren't very good of your handwork stenciling then I thoroughly recommend you get one of these stencil sheets this has got different kinds of stencils on it but you can also embellish these stencils when they're dry too by outlining them and adding bits well I will show you so I'm just gonna continue on round I'm not uh, measuring or doing anything as such I am just doing the um, doing it random so this little pouncer tool you can get from the online supplier I get it's in the drop down box or wherever you choose to get them but that's where I got them from and um, so I've used that then just peel it back up and then you've got another nice little flower so I'm gonna do this just random where would I want the next one I probably now can't I've got maybe have to wait now until these dry because I don't want it facing inwards I want them facing outwards so maybe there I could go without doing too much damage to anything I could cut this piece out and do it I suppose that would make it easier it's just that I don't want the rest of the stencil to go in these ones that I have just done and spoil them so I'm just going over that with the pouncer and then you just lift it straight up and then you've got that lovely little flower there so that's easy peasy isn't it now will I fit one or two in there <laughs> probably just fit one in here where the there you go so if you're not very good at freehand drawing then these are perfect because they can definitely be enhanced further to look like freehand. I will have to show you when they're dry, so I don't know if I fancy putting something in the middle like that, that one, or in the middle like that. That would probably be cool, wouldn't it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let those dry and I will be back in the meantime I'll just wash this off then I'll show you what I'm going to do to further enhance the little beauty okay. here I'll continue on I have actually cut the um, stencil up so as to make it easy I'm not sure if I want that whole thing in there like that or I just want one 
in there like that but just for the sake of it I'm going to do this one in here facing do you face it up or face it down so kind of putting it in the center ish I'm not worried about so that's the stencil so I'm just going to hold it with my fingers you could tape it down providing your paintings fully dry and I'm going to pounce it or bounce it so today I'm a bouncer I am a bouncer big heavy bounce bounce obviously <laughs> just take your time and enjoy the process as I tell you guys all the time just enjoy the process and um you can sort of go back over where you've been if you think it's missed a bit. I realise now why they have the rest of the stencil around is so you don't go outside the um, over your work that you don't want covered in stencil. So you you just would probably use a smaller to bouncer pouncer bouncer tool. Uh, as long as I'm just pressing that down to make sure it's all covered like you say if I said before if you can see any bits showing through just go back over it again but now I realize that you definitely have to lift up your um, stencil tool stencil you know quite early because otherwise it'll just stick so just do it and then just got that bit in the middle bouncing bouncing like I said this gives you the opportunity because it's giving you an outline to work further and make it your own put your own stamp on it which I will show you very shortly so lift it up please 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 Ooh. I know that I'm going to get comments like it's too much going on but I'm doing it as a, um, a tutorial as well to show people what you can do so my next step was I got some where have I put them oh here we go little earbuds do you call them the same I don't we call them earbuds they're the little cotton buds that you stick in your ear rolls or wherever you choose to. Now I was going to put them all together and use them together but I'm going to just use them one. I have dipped, I put some of the black paint in there so I'm dipping the earbud in the black paint and as I went there I'm doing one, two, three. So to put a centre in them so again it's enhancing them and it's making them look your own so these are kind of easy tips for people that are not you know say oh I can't draw or I can't paint but you can certainly make something look a lot better if you have a little bit of thought about it I suppose That's it. Do I want to add any in there? Maybe one in the center of there, one in the center of there. I don't do much further. Now, when all of that is completely dry, you can either, or either, either, these are dual tip markers, meaning they're an acrylic marker, dual tip marker, these ones are month marked, so that's got a fine end there or the other end's got a thicker end. So when they are dry what I will like to do is go round each leaf and add some detail. Just adds a little bit more detail to it and you can see the, oh, which one might be dry. Maybe this one, so I'm just going, I'll see what the thicker pen so it's just just to outline to kind of give them a bit of a 3D effect. So I will uh, wait till this dries off because I can feel that's a little bit tacky. But I will push on with it. And when it's dry, I'll come back to you. 
I have decided not to further embellish around the um, actual stenciled flower because I did one and I didn't, yeah, there you go. I could have, I will do it finer, but I didn't like it as opposed to just left a la naturelle. The only thing I did was a few of the black bud dots on that. So I'm leaving that one. Now these little butterflies, you can, they're just a, um, they're just like a little tiny butterfly. I think they're meant as a button because look at the two holes. But what I would do is if I resin this, I would this then drop in the resin and um, leave it there. And as same with the bigger one, I'm not sure if I would leave that bigger one in there. I don't think, I know some people have said, oh, it's nice to see something in the negative space, but um, it still looks pretty either way. So you can either hand paint your butterflies in or whatever you'd like to do, or you can even stencil them in. I think I have got a little stencil of the butterflies and then color with the acrylic pens. Because once you have coated or varnished or resin, the whole thing, then, you know, it all looks like one art piece anyway, but I'm pretty happy with that. I think that turned out pretty nice. I'm So the original um, pour, I will put a link to, and then um, this was the, stencily bit so if there's anything that you think oh i'm not happy with the way that turned out there's always trying stencils and embellishments so i mean that's quite pretty on its own and of course you can always do um close-up photos of bits of the piece of art that you like like take close-up photo and have prints made for cards or you can get calendars made up or whatever. So there you go. So thank you so much for joining me on that little bit of a stencil and, and embellishment um, session for today. So until tomorrow, you take care, people, and bye for now.